ready. So we're in another mesh. It's um, Sunday morning, just finished milking. The weather looks pretty mid, but hopefully it clears up for an evening shot. And hopefully there's not too much clag for a potential morning shot. Um, heading into the Rohini's, couple hour walk in, stay the night in a hut, and um, hopefully we can get onto a deer. As you can see, I'm accompanied by Pierce. He's a, he's a good bugger and he's going to try and get us the first Rohini deer. So, um, <laughs> Pressure's all on me this trip. <laughs> it is. <laughs> he's been a pretty useless guide so far, I've been out for a few hunts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, stay tuned. Got it? <laughs> Too good. Well, <laughs> we are icing my ankle because <laughs> I just rolled it quite badly. I really don't want to call off the pump, <laughs> but it also freaking hurts. So I think I'll just ice it for like 10 minutes and you're out. Uh, we, we were expecting a bit of bad weather um, with this easterly, but maybe not quite as bad as it has turned out to be, but um, it's meant to turn westerly overnight, which should help us a bit and it should be, in theory, my theories can be wrong, but um, it should be a bit better in the morning. Fingers crossed. How good? <laughs> Very good. Scenes for it up here. That's the Hawks Bay down there. <laughs> How good? Well, <laughs> we've made it to the hut mm. and um, dried ourselves off and starting to get warm. But yeah, we'll definitely have to wait till the clay lifts a bit if we want to get out for an evening hunt. But um. Yeah, I've given my ankle a flipping good tickle, so <laughs> tomorrow could be interesting. Um, it's bloody sore, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Take it slow. Yeah, well, we'll be alright. <laughs> Man, I should play the sore ankle card more often. I've been getting a cup of tea delivered to me. <laughs> Old mate's making the fire. <laughs> bloody good! Man is expert. At what? <laughs> 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 On six o'clock, and uh, as per forecast, the clag is lifted. There's the blue sky, and we can see all our all our slips and clearings. So, got the binos to work, and hopefully, we can see a deer. Yeah, it'd be nice if something walked out for us. Yeah, so it's still got a couple hours of light. Um, how bloody good though, in bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off the back of the hut. <laughs> oh yeah. So good. Bloody typical. Right on prime time, and look what's rolled in. Not good. <laughs> What's going on, Pierce? Oh, I've got some sausages here, and then we've got some rice to throw with them. And... Yeah. Did, did you find me a deer? We tried our best, but <laughs> we did not succeed. We might have to try again in the morning, but hopefully we have a bit more luck with the flag. And yeah, but now we've got some some venison sausages I prepared earlier, and yeah, they're, they're quite tasty. Turn on the TV, act like you don't see me, tell me everything is okay. My mother is a saint and told me if I wait, everything meant to be will stay. But I am a believer in people, please don't hear the fucking telephone. Oh, well, we've been glassing for a little bit now, um, but I think we've decided that we're going to start thinking about heading out because... Yeah, the ankle is actually pretty stuffed, so it's going to be a good, good, good couple hours to get out. 
so yeah we're gonna leave while it's nice and early and the weather's good and um i think we're just gonna put a few th shots through the 308 and um just see what she's like at, at the long ranges so yeah yeah ready when you are Slightly high and left. Slightly high and left. But like it, it nicked it, like it hit it well and truly. Okay, well that's good. So I must be a little bit lower. Oh yeah, no, I'll take that though. Oh, 400 yards and yeah. uh, Pierce smoked it. So what's, what's your setup? What are you running? Oh, it's nothing too. Oh, the scope's a little bit fancy, but it's just a hand me down thing. But yeah, it's just a Tika 308, 16 inches, factory ammo. Seems to do the magic. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Pretty much about the same spot as me. Ooh, a bit right. Really? You'd be in the guts. <laughs> Shit. Height was good though. Oh well, um, just put a couple shots through the 308s. Went maybe a little bit high, a little bit left. The height was probably my dial was wrong. Just had a little look at the drop chart again. I should have done 9.1. I did 9.25, so I should have just put nine nine clicks on. Um, also got a nine power scope, so the rock looks pretty small through that. But no, pretty happy. Dad's done good. We were literally just lying, um, getting ready to leave the hut, and Pierce had a quick bino and um, found a yearling. So. He's got his rifle ready and um, might give it a crack. It's 470. I'm videoing. Well, on reflection, it was actually real windy um, looking at this footage, which would have definitely influenced the 308 shooting, um, especially coming out of a 16 inch barrel with slow velocities. Um, and unfortunately, from our target practice, we had emptied the mags, so <laughs> Pierce only had one shot with us, and the rest was all packed up in our packs. So, um, yeah, a bit of a bugger, but good to see an animal. It's just gone behind that bush. Okay, it's out again. Don't rush the shot, bro, you've got plenty of time. Okay, maybe not. Fuck, it's feeding me. Yeah. It's not gonna hit it. Happened there, Fierce? Oh, it spotted a hind, a uh, little yearling just as we were going to leave. I figured, why not? We'll have a crack, but yeah, 470. We're stretching the barrel a bit and just went a little bit over the top of it but we didn't really want to feel like recovering it <laughs> must be those uh factory loads you keep going on about it eh? <laughs> oh, it's quite windy now like I'll, I'll yeah you definitely pulled the trigger and it was quite windy but right and left was pretty pretty on the money yeah um, Tiana didn't want to go so yeah well, my rifle was all strapped on and i take a little so while was to mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she figured she'd let me <laughs> nah, good shit. Righto, well we've got the packs on and we're going to head back down to the car now. Be a good couple hours I'd say, but um, ankle's feeling a bit better so take it easy and um, I'm sure we'll be fine. But man, what a trip. That <laughs> was fun, wicked. Eh? And what a way to end it. <laughs> Always good to be out in the bush and nice to have some good weather. Yeah, better than see some new scenes. Yeah. And um, the useless guide has got a little bit less useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad I've, I've got one good compliment out of this trip. <laughs> <laughs> They're few and far between with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and um, catch you on the next mission. Well, I couldn't show Pierce's miss and not show a bit of a mistake I made myself a few weeks ago where I shot this bore a bit high. Didn't realise it had such long hair. And um, through the nine power scope on the 308, I um, definitely misjudged that and couldn't find the pig. I think he'll still be running just with a bit of a sore shoulder. So a um, bit of a shame and I'm not proud of it, but it definitely happens. Turn on the TV, act like you don't see me, tell me everything is okay. My mother is the same, you told me if I wait, everything meant to be will stay.